Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, my name is Gwiltron and I'm back for another video today because I've been playing with um, Destiny a lot. I'm playing on the PS3, I had someone send me a message asking what console I was playing on. So I think I'll show you that, you know, I'm going to go to PS3. Um, we've got a slight farming situation, all of the spawn traps have been getting changed and edited and stuff and being made different monsters spawning in different places and for different reasons. Now I found another one, if you head to Venus, just on the random patrol, you take a right as soon as you spawn in, and you come around this way, and then you come round, and then there's buildings and stuff around this corner, keep going, follow the path straight through, hopefully there won't be too many people around this area, because it does tend to ruin the spawn trap Come straight on round. Come around. And this one, it, it's um, I found it online. So I thought I'd share it. But it's it's better if you can have two people farming. This one. Get all the ones. at the moment, so I'll pick up all this armor. There's a box that spawns this here. Oh my days, what are the chances of that? You could not make up that, I just opened a legendary engram from a box whilst recording. Goes to show it's a lucky spot, I guess. Come up to here. You aim at this doorway here. Apparently I can't even hit that because I fell off the edge. So I'm gonna have to run up and kill them all again. Maybe we can try again. Charm. Head up onto this ledge. They respawn once you get to here. Walk back oh. rocket in. As you, this is why you need two people because the rocket launcher is fine. That will kill them easily. However, they don't always drop heavy ammo, so they can't keep a constant supply of it. Very fast. Like they all, it always spawns six mobs, but because of the server that's got such high HP, unless you're getting constant crits, you're not going to kill them all by yourself that quickly. And again, uh, it's a good spawn if you've got a friend. And as I don't have one on, it slows down my farming. So you can do this. There's a ledge up there. Jump onto this ledge. Oh, I messed it up. Jump up and out like this. And then respawn. This instantly starts to have both of them. Down. There's green and brown already. We head up onto this ledge. Jump up and out, and then respawn again. This guy's doing a problem. Not a bad spawn, huh? But, like I said, I did get these two. Well, this method was off of a guy called Triton HD. He's. And uh, farming from the range is awesome. Uh, you do need a friend to be able to do that. So if you don't have one, you can just use this method here. It works all day at the moment. It's a good little spawn trap. 
Change the subclass and we'll put on the trip mines. Dunk it. Oh, I let it charge. I'll do another quick one. We'll see whether we can spawn trap them instant kills. I can't even get on the ledge now. Maybe. grenade you stuck it to the back wall to farm with, just sitting over on that ledge there, I'd recommend that. Dump a grenade there, make this the last one. Because it's not the best drop rate in the world, but nowhere is anymore. See real time farm, that's maybe five minutes at most. It's going to be more effective, two people sat over on the hill with scout rifles or rocket launchers or maybe if you've got the um, the exotic sniper rifle that was on sale last weekend, the one that replenishes bullets like Icebreaker or something like that it's called. Anyway guys if this has been useful to you, sorry I'm a bit of a noob but I'm not used to farming this area by myself, I normally sit over there with my friend and like I said I did dismantle my auto rifle. Anyway guys, you're awesome, thank you very much for watching, it was really kind of you, I hope I've helped, leave a like, a comment, maybe a cheeky subscription if I have done, I will be making more videos as I find stuff, but until then, enjoy the rest of your day, and stay classy.